Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. You know, while most of us are used to pulling six, eight, and 10 inch lures when we're trolling offshore for sailfish, dolphin, wahoo, there are certainly times when small jet style lures and bullets and little feathers in the three and four inch range are just deadly effective. And while you can purchase these lures off the shelf pre-rigged right from the manufacturer, I prefer to rig our own. I trust my connections a little bit more. I trust my components a little bit more. And I wanna show you how to rig your own lures in just a couple of easy steps. For starters, obviously you need some leader material. I've started with five foot of 150 pound test Extra hard mono, uh, diamond high catch makes a stiff leader material. That's perfect for this application. From there, again, the length five feet is plenty when you're targeting fish at range up to 20 or 25 pounds. If you are chasing sailfish and blue marlin, obviously your leader is gonna be substantially longer. In this particular case, four or five feet is plenty. The first thing that you wanna do is just connect your eye right to the end of the leader. Um, what I do is I start off with a crimp. All of my connections are crimped. It's certainly a much better connection than a knot when you're dealing with 150 pound leader or anything this heavy. And a lot of guys are they're still a little bit scared to crimp and it really couldn't be any easier. You simply get a crimping tool. It has the numbers marked right on the tool so you, you certainly can't mess up. It has the size of the crimp right on the hole. And of course, uh, you'll see all of my crimps are well organized and they're all numbered not only for the size of the leader, but also the size of the crimp. Match the size of the crimp to the hole in the crimping tool, and boom, you've got a perfect connection every time. So I take my leader, I'll just put my little crimp right onto my leader material here. I start off with a little grommet right on the end. I feed that through the line. I bring the line back right through the crimp, pull it up tight, I add the grommet for just a little bit more abrasion resistance and it's easy to just clip that right onto a snap swivel on and off. Grab your crimping tool. Again, I simply match the size of the hole with the size of the crimp. I center the crimp right in the appropriate slot. Just a good solid tight squeeze. And right there, that's a absolutely perfect connection. That'll never come undone. Trim off the excess. So, so far, I've got the end of my leader ready to go. I'm then gonna grab the opposite end of the leader, grab my small little jet feather with that, whatever type of lure you're rigging. I feed it through, obviously, through the head because we rigged the top of the leader. We now need to put the hook on. So there we go. Our lure is directly on the leader. Now what I like to do, again, for a little bit of extra precaution, I add a piece of chafing gear. You can just, there's a variety of different types of chafing gear that are on the market. I like this little springy type. It's easy to cut the sides. I just cut off about an inch or an inch and a half. Okay, again, take another crimp, the appropriate size crimp, slide it on the line first. Slide on your chafing gear. Take your hook, 7-0 Mustad trolling hook, real simple. You can uh, opt to purchase the stainless steel hooks if you'd like. Feed the leader and the chafing gear right through the eye of the hook. Bring the tag end of the leader back up through the crimp. Pull it tight so you have a nice solid connection. Again, appropriate size hole in the crimping tool to the appropriate size crimp. Cinch tight. Trim off the excess. Boom, we're done. We've got a perfectly rigged lure ready to go and we're going fishing. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world.